an era long past, as monarchies weaken, local feudal lords grew in power. The first knights simply protected their lords' domains. However, with the reforms of the late 11th century, knights became protectors of the peace. They valued courage and honor, fighting heretics and heathens in God's name. In this age, one company of knights was said to be invincible due to two men. Leon Belmont, a courageous man who feared nothing and whose combat abilities were second to none. And Matthias Kronqvist, a genius tactician whose learning made him an exception in a largely illiterate society. They trusted each other completely and they were bound by an old friendship. However, sorrow awaited Matthias upon his return from a victorious campaign. It was news of the sudden death of his beloved wife, Elisabetta. Matthias' grief was profound, and he became bedridden. A year has passed since then. Thanks to Leon's efforts, their company remains proudly undefeated. However, a mysterious army of monsters suddenly appears in Leon's domain. The Crusades are raging in the east, and since the church is focusing on fighting heathens rather than monsters, it has forbidden unauthorized battles. Leon wants permission to sortie, but the church has no intention of granting it. One night, Matthias struggles from his sickbed and tells Leon that the appearance of the monsters is tied to a vampire who has a castle in the forest called Eternal Night and that Leon's betrothed, Sarah, has been kidnapped and brought to that castle. Leon realizes that he must renounce his title to rescue his beloved. The forest is swollen with darkness, as if it would rob away everything, and only moonlight provides a ray of hope. A great legend is about to begin. What just happened? I felt something strange. Ah, he must really like you. You won't be able to leave now. Who's there? Now, don't get so excited. I'm just an old man. I just came to gawk at the man crazy enough to come here. You don't seem like a monster. <laughs> of course not. What is your name? Leon. Leon. You're not Baron Leon Belmont. Just Leon Belmont. I have given up my title. And you, old man? Pardon me, Lord Belmont. My name is Rinaldo Gandolfi. You can call me Leon, and I will call you Rinaldo. Don't call me Lord. We're equals now. As you wish. Now, please follow me to my cottage. I want to talk to you. Wait here a moment. There's something I want to give you. Rinaldo, can I ask you something? What is it? Why are you living in a place like this? I have unfinished business with Walter Bernhard, the master of this forest. Unfinished business? Not worth mentioning. I owe him. Well, I won't ask any more, but you're not in danger living so close to him? 
It seems eternal life is extremely boring. He enjoys playing at cat and mouse with the hunters that come here, though of course there's no way that he could ever lose. He thinks that um, my helping hunters makes the game more fun. I see. But what do you mean by there being no way he could lose? Vampires are loved by the night, and this forest is locked in eternal darkness. He has never been defeated. Well, that may be so, but I must go ahead and face him. Did he... take someone precious? Yes, he abducted my betrothed. How did you know that? It's what he always does when he starts the game. You came unarmed. Your courage astonishes me. I do have a weapon, just not my sword. That belongs to the company, and I left it behind when I gave up my title. <laughs> Honest to a fault. I heard that many hunters have met their end here. If that's the case, getting weapons shouldn't be hard. Take this with you. It will help you against monsters. What is this? A whip made with alchemy. It's stronger than any dead man's discarded sword. Alchemy? I'm not familiar with that word. Not surprising. The field experiments with the principles of God's creation of the world. The only person who truly understands it is Matthias. You know Lord Kronkvist? I have known him longer than you have. His family has a book of secret arts, originally handed down orally. Secret arts? I never knew. Of course not. Only a handful of people in this world know about it. There are some who consider alchemy to be heresy. I see. Are you one of them? No. If you are an acquaintance of Matthias, you are trustworthy. I will use this whip with gratitude. Put your left hand out. My left hand? Like this? Don't move now. That should do it. You can put it down now. Was that? The gauntlet is enchanted now. A spell? Some enemies' attacks release a special power. If you block them with the gauntlet, you can gather that power. What can I do with the gathered power? You'll be able to use magical relics by releasing that power. Magical relics? Right. Those who excel in magic can use them. I have cast the spell so that you can use them as well. I have some. You should be able to obtain them in the castle as well. I understand. Right now, this is all I can do for you. Rinaldo. Thank you. Wait a minute. I forgot to tell you something. The door leading to his throne is guarded by five monsters. So I will need to defeat them first. That's right. That's essentially the test you must pass to fight him. What a bothersome... I told you before. To him, this is a game. I realize that, but... If you have troubles, come back here anytime. They won't be free, but I'll keep potions on hand for you. Thank you. I appreciate it.
Sarah, wait for me. I'm coming to save you. Is someone there? Are you a prisoner here? Are you a vampire? That's right, lonely human. Why is a vampire locked away here? Shut up! Damn Walter. I would have won were it not for his ebony stone. Ebony stone? What's that? If you want to know. You promised. Answer me. What is the Ebony Stone? A stone made with alchemy. It creates the never-ending darkness in this forest. Hence eternal night. But the night should help you as well, since you're a vampire. <laughs> that stone chooses its master. My powers pale beside his. Oh, if only I had the Crimson Stone! <laughs> Crimson Stone. He mentioned alchemy. Perhaps Rinaldo might know something. I have a question, Rinaldo. Don't you always ask away? The Ebony and Crimson Stones. What about them? You knew about them. Why didn't you tell me? How would that have changed anything? The night still wouldn't have ended. True, but... Well... I would have told you. I shall tell you now. Please. Have you ever heard of the Philosopher's Stone? No, I haven't. Making the Philosopher's Stone is the ultimate goal of alchemy. It provides eternal youth. The two other stones were apparently created accidentally. No details of how they were made remain now. I see. I know about the Ebony Stone, but what kind of power does the Crimson Stone have? I don't know the details. It turns the souls of vampires into power for its master. These two stones are the vampire's greatest treasures. Wouldn't the Crimson Stone work for humans as well? If all it gave you was power, that might be so. What do you mean? I've heard that it bears the curse of the vampires as well. I see. So humanity would be lost. There are no greater treasures for those who become vampires. And Walter has the Ebony Stone in his possession? That seems to be the case. It was supposedly lost along with the Crimson Stone. 
But if the Ebony Stone reappeared, then the Crimson Stone... They also stone... have resurfaced. I pray that it is not here. You came to save me! Oh, thank goodness. I'm so glad you're not hurt. I can't believe you're safe! Let's get out of here first. Yes. <clears throat> Who are you? Oh my. Too bad. And, and I, I thought this would work so well. <laughs> It was obvious that it wouldn't be so easy! I was going to let you die without any suffering, because I liked the way you looked. Well... That's just too bad. Ah, oh, but I've changed my mind. Your face warped in pain. Just the thought thrills me. Oh, this will be lovely. If I had known this would happen, I would have fought you in the guise of your loved one. Then, like that old man, you would have... Old man? You're talking about Rinaldo. What do you mean? That... that old man... Uh, uh, his own daughter! Uh, 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 uh. Ah, you did well to come back. Ronaldo, please tell me... What is it? About your daughter. I don't know what you've heard, but you don't need to know any more. Ronaldo, you've helped me so much. The least I can do for you is listen to your story and support you in your suffering. Needless meddling. It was five years ago, a cold night with a full moon. I returned home from picking herbs necessary for the secret arts, and what greeted me was a sea of steaming blood, and at the center of it were the bodies of my wife and son. I could not believe my eyes. My daughter was there, laughing, blood dripping from her mouth. She was turned into a vampire? That's right, by Walter. My daughter went out a window without even looking at me. When I recovered, I built the whip with alchemy. Then, I searched for her. I see. I've heard enough. So this is what you meant when you said you owed him. I challenged Walter, but nothing came of it. That's why I live here and help those who wish to fight him. I never would have guessed. Forget everything I just said. Think only of yourself now. He's not an opponent you can beat while distracted. No. You're wrong. What do you mean? The force of your grief can only make me stronger. Thank you. I am grateful. Welcome! I haven't had 
any visitors in a while. <gasps> With that body, you'll make an excellent statue. Sight, weren't they? Don't worry, you'll be joining them soon enough. Are you the legendary monster that turns people to stone? Monster? What insolence! I'll grind you to dust! The, that whip is. It's Ronaldo's whip. Apparently, it's effective even on legendary monsters. It wasn't so powerful before. Did it gain its. Complete form? Complete form? Still, it's no match for my master! Ronaldo, I'm glad you're back. What's the matter? You have an odd look on your face. Well... About this whip. Were there problems with it? No, that isn't it. I heard something about it gaining its complete form. Oh, that. That's true, the whip is not yet complete. But it has become more powerful than before. That is because of you. I hate to say it, but it seems it fits you better than me. Is there a way to... Complete it? It's better for you not to think about that. It's impossible by any normal means. But... Do not think about it. There are other things you must take care of right now. <sighs> All right. Welcome to my castle. Pleased to meet you. I am the master of the castle. Walter Bernhard. Give back Sarah! Do not rush. Your lady is here. Sarah! Why? Why won't she answer? It seems the lady is tired. Hmm. It seems you are too. Rest a while. What? <laughs> well. That whip is Ronaldo's, is it? It can't be. My attack doesn't work! I see. It's just as that knight said. Very well. You've made it this far. I'll return her as a reward. be in the throne room on the highest floor. I look forward to you making it there. Alive? <laughs> This 
Sarah, what's the matter? What's all this racket? Ronaldo, Sarah suddenly... Oh no. You go on inside. But... There's nothing you can do. Wait quietly inside. All right. Please. Take care of Sarah. How is Sarah doing? She's sleeping in the back. <sighs> what in the world happened? The barrier around this house... It responded. <laughs> what are you saying? That's... That's not possible! There's no use hiding it. So I'll tell you plainly. That girl has been tainted by the vampire. You're lying! That can't be! Why would I lie to you? You must accept the truth! Please, tell me you're lying. She is not a vampire yet, to be precise. She won't even be aware of it. As time passes, she will gradually lose her humanity, like my daughter. Is there anything I can do? The only thing would be to defeat Walter immediately. Is this whip effective against him? Why do you ask? I tried to strike him with it, but it didn't seem to work. It is as I thought then. It didn't even work for you. Isn't there another way? Well, there is, but... Tell me, I'll do anything! Then let me ask you this. You can destroy him. But in order to do that, you need a tainted soul. One that trusts you. And one that you can trust. I abandoned everything in order to save Sarah. I could... I could never do such a thing. Even knowing she's not human, it's a difficult thing to do. I'm not surprised. Is she really? Is Sarah really? No doubt about it. I confirmed the bite mark. The fact that the barrier responded is proof above all else. Sarah! Did she overhear us just now? Sarah! Please! Stay away! Sarah, calm down. Did you... Did you hear us talking? It's okay. Please, trust me. I will save you. I will. You'll see. I appreciate how you feel, but I... I have no time left. No time? I can feel it. My heartbeat is weakening, and my blood is growing cold. I can feel myself changing into something inhuman. If my soul can save others, then I won't die in vain. I do not want anyone else to suffer my fate. Why? Please, if you still love me, please grant me my final wish. I cannot. You dishonor yourself, Leon. How do you think Sarah feels? I know, Ronaldo. I do know, but...
into a blood covenant with Sarah's soul. Focus your spirit on Sarah. All becomes one in infinity. The tainted soul joins his undesired and cursed soul. His blood accepts your hatred for the power to slay your kind. Now, use the whip against Sarah. I swear to you, no more will suffer your fate. was one of the forbidden secrets described in the book belonging to Matthias's family. Now that whip has become the bane of the children of the night. Yes, I can tell. The power of hatred and destruction that the whip has against vampires. I'm sorry, Leon. It couldn't be helped. It is no one's fault was what Sarah wanted. Are you going already? Yes. I must keep the promise I made to Sarah. I see. Come back again any time. I can be of some help to you. Welcome. I have been waiting, Leon. Walter, I will never forgive you. I see. It seems you have enjoyed the gift that I gave you. <sighs> yes. Thanks to that, I now have the power to defeat you. Well, that power is quite something. But I am beloved by the night. You will taste my powers. I'll kill you and the night! Interesting. Now the curtain rises on this delightful little game. Nothing left to protect you. I'll fulfill my promise to Sarah now! Not yet. The power of the night is still full. I shall teach you the meaning of true terror! It can't be. This should not have happened. Sarah's suffering. Ronaldo's grief. Carve them into your cursed body and perish. Ah, but uh, with my powers, I will surely come back to life. Uh, I could not obtain the Crimson Stone, uh, but someday it will be mine. No! You betrayed me! I'm 
shall take your soul! Disappoint me, Leon. I knew without a doubt that you would accomplish this. What is the meaning of this? I needed a powerful vampire soul. That is all. Are you saying you used me? Not just you. Your betrothed, Sarah, Rinaldo, and Walter. I used all of you. I never thought it would go so well, though. Is that red stone? The crimson stone? Ah, oh, you know it. I'm impressed. I made Walter's soul mine with the power of this stone. I sense a rage from this whip. You abandoned humanity? That's right. By becoming a vampire, I obtained eternal life. That was my goal. It was my revenge against God. Revenge against God? We have risked our lives and fought for the sake of God. But God mercilessly Stole away the one I loved most. When all I ever wished for was Elizabeth's safety. If limited life is God's decree, then I shall defy it. And within that eternity, I shall curse him forevermore. Oh, Matthias. Right. I do understand. How you feel? I too. Then come with me. I will give you eternity too. You wretched fool. What? Is this what the woman you loved would have wanted? The Matthias I know would not have loved such a woman. in your heart, too? Yes, I'd be lying if I claimed otherwise. But defeating him... No. Preventing others from suffering the same cursed fate. That was Sarah's dying wish. <sighs> Granting my beloved's wish. That is all I can do to prove my love to Sarah. Eternity. Without her, would be nothing but emptiness. Leon, I thought that you would understand. Dawn is coming. Farewell, Leon. Death is all yours. Master's orders, you will 
be destroyed here and now! To think that I would be... I have the power to destroy all related to the vampires. Though you have divine powers, you are no exception! Unfortunately for you, as long as my master survives, I will rise from the dead. I see. Give him this message. You have become a cursed being, and I will never forgive you. This whip and my kinsmen will destroy you someday. From this day on, the Belmont clan will hunt the knight! And so the story of the Belmont clan's struggle against evil begins. However, Matthias and the Belmonts will not meet again for hundreds of years. Matthias goes into hiding in foreign lands and continues to curse God for eternity. Eventually, he names himself Lord of the Vampires, King of the Night. The years before their next meeting pass slowly and quietly, but with finality. The intermission in this exquisite play from which two souls will never escape.